Hi and welcome back at the museum. Today we're going to talk about upgrading your second generation Philips DCC recorder like the Philips DCC 600. The second generation has a digital input and a digital output but no optical output. When we were visiting Krzysztof Zitar last year in Poland he showed us an upgrade that he had made because he refused to use any of the external boxes converting a digital output to an optical output. He created a direct optical output from the board of the 600. He gave us a schedule and some homework and in this video we're going to show you how it's done. The question you have to ask yourself when in need for optical inner outputs is whether you want to go the easy external route versus the more complicated modification. Cheap digital to optical converters can be found easily online but do require an external power supply as well. We made some pictures of Christoph's setup and decided to follow his lead. The mechanical part of this video was more time consuming than the actual electronic modification. This modification can be done on any second generation Philips and Magnavox 600, a Grundig DCC 305, as well as the Philips 91, 450, 300 and 380. Working on the DCC 600 is easy because the entire back panel can be removed. We ordered an optical out connector and also needed a 100 nanofarad capacitor. After removing the top cover and all screws in the back, the back cover can be separated from the DCC 600. Measuring and being accurate is key to make sure the new optical output fits perfectly. We drill four small holes in each corner before we remove the remaining metal by hand. <laughs> Lastly we add an extra hole that will keep the new optical output in place. Now we can start adding the components. The 100 nanofarad capacitor is placed between plus 5 volt and ground. There are two options to connect the cables to the board after examining the schedule. With a clip on top of the connector or soldering on the connector. We decided to solder. After a first power on, the desired red light is showing. A good sign. And finally, the ultimate listening test. It's working perfectly. In a future video, we will also consider adding an optical input, but that requires a separate switch. We hope you enjoyed this video, see you next time.